Well, we're in luck. Malaika and her two boys, who she's looking back at now, are up and on the move as the sun slowly begins to set, and it is a beautiful, beautiful evening, as you can see. Magic stuff, and I'm very, very happy that she has decided to get up and on the move again. It is 27 degrees Celsius at the moment, and my name is Scott Dyson. It's great to have you on board. I've got Craig on camera, and there were a whole bunch of Thompson's Gazelle in the direction that they are heading in now. They may have moved off a little bit, um, because I cannot see anything in the immediate vicinity that they are heading in, but I'm confident if they do come across something, they are going to chase it and try and eat it for dinner. So that is something to look forward to. Let's hope they find some possible prey. It's a magical, magical evening. And they've spent the last couple of hours, maybe three hours by now, just snoozing. And that's after a few midday hunting attempts. It was quite hot in the middle of the day, yet she still had three attempted hunts, sadly, all of which were whilst we were back at Camp Ol Shaiki having breakfast and charging up the vehicle. So unfortunate timing that we missed that action, but hopefully we will get lucky this evening. Hello Priscilla, you'd like to know how many cheetah are found in the Mara? And I'd say about 20, at a guess. I'm not sure anyone knows exactly how many cheese are there are. It's such a vast area that's quite difficult to explore, especially the western edge along the Ololola Escarpment. There's lots of long grass there and kind of fairly untraversed tracks. But yeah, my guess would be 20. I mean, there's eight that we know of that are a kilometer apart from one another. There's five males and these three. Like I said, the, the males are about a kilometer away from here. They made a kill of a wildebeest this morning again. We were just in the wrong place at the right time. So yeah, I'd say at least 20, maybe up to 30 cheetah. And we've been spending time mainly with these three, a coalition of five, two sisters. And there's been two or three across on the other side of the river recently. There's a few more coalitions of males. I think there's three coalitions of two that traverse this area. The thing is, there are no fences, so the animals are free roaming from here to the north, further into Kenya, or to the south, into Tanzania. Okay, magic, magic stuff. Always wonderful to see cheetah on the move. They may go for an evening drink, or they may get caught up and find some dinner beforehand. We are going to reposition to get you some better views of these cheetah and whatever they get up to. And while we do that, we're going to send you to one of the mammoths of the wilderness.